What's going on? It's Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And today, for the second time, we got the Big Al Five Baby. And not just this one, this one too. Kick that intro. All right, so dig it. I've liked this bass for probably the better of eight years. I actually uh, found out about this bass about the same time the bongo line was getting introduced to the Music Man family. Um, you want to talk about options. Sire's M7, I don't feel like has anything on this bass right here. So if you like knobs and you like have every single possible sound known to man, this. And it's really sad that they stopped making them. I don't know how long the production run was, but I know that finding one of these is ne near impossible. Like, near. I'm sure they are still out there. People are still slapping on these bad boys, but... They're, they're a collector's item. So, little known fact, this idea actually inspired Goldie. Having the three pickup situation and being able to select all the stuff is kind of what I wanted as my specialty uh, signature five string. So, little known fact. Uh, this bass has the ability to be hum canceling in every single pickup position that's so that's one positive the second positive about this bad boy is you can do any combination of pickups that you want to do and also there's an active and passive switch here's another little caveat I think if you press all of them in it's in parallel and if you press all of them out it's in series so there's dynamics within that and that's just the switches that's just these four switches right here aside from that you have your volume for the whole thing you have a master tone for the whole thing you have a high mid you have a low mid you have a treble and a bass so let me run that one more time for the folks in the back so dig it you have all of these switches for each one of these pickups and then this last switch over here is an active and passive switch Okay, then you have your volume, your master tone the whole time, and then you have a high mid, low mid, treble, and bass. Also, all the switches work in passive mode. So if you didn't want this active situation or it's too much bass for you, you can go into the passive mode and uh, bypass the whole preamp and just mess with the volume and the tone. Keep it simple. Don't, it ain't broke, don't fix it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? This is really, really dope. So, like I said, this inspired Goldie back there. And the design of the actual base, like it looks cool. It's angular, it's kind of 80s, it has a thing that it does, and it does it well. Uh, matching headstock up there. You can check out the big L5 on that bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the mix. It just looks good. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, yeah. So, I got it. It's my first Music Man. Legitimate Music Man. And I love it. 18 volt system. Fast neck. It's uh, satin here. And then it switches to a gloss whenever you get to this point of the neck. Which is cool. It's a cool little transition. Like they taped it off. Satined it. The whole thing down. And uh, yeah, has a contoured neck heel like the uh, American Pro 2s that just came out has that thing. And this is years ago they came out with this premium quality instrument. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, this, is, this is a good time. But I've been talking and gushing for going on five minutes maybe or so. Let's hear what this bad boy sounds like. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to uh, kind of zoom out of this whole thing. I might just move myself back so that I, you can get a little bit more 
of what I'm doing here. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do a real short piece of like each pickup and then go through the combinations real fast. I'm not gonna touch the uh, EQ. Everything is dimed in uh, at 12 o'clock. And then I'll go through, I'll do a little something on each single pickup. Get those out the way, get them out the way. And then uh, I'll do tone off and then tone all the way on real quick. Here we go. So yeah, and uh, my dumb butt, I actually think I had this in, I did, okay. Okay, cool, so I did have this in uh, uh, pat, uh, active mode the whole time. I was like, is this tone doing anything? <laughs> know that so the tone only works in passive mode didn't know cool so me up here turning up the tone turning down the tone I was like that kind of sounds the same I don't know what's happening so yeah it only works in passive mode if you run across this bass 
know that. I just taught, I just learned that myself. Here we are, you know what I'm saying? Um, no second takes, no breaks, running. <laughs> so yeah, this is my big L5, man. This is, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a workhorse base for me. If I don't bring Goldie and I don't bring the BTK5 original, it's probably gonna be this next and then my fenders, probably. I don't know. Maybe the Jackson before the fenders. Probably not. I do like those fenders. Anyway, this though, this is a good time. This is a great time. Glad to have it in the family. And uh, uh, yeah, man, gotta change the pig guard, make it a little something a little bit sexier. But other than that, that's gonna end it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe if you like this type of content. You know what I'm saying? Comment, let me know what you think about this base. This is the second look. I've had it on the channel. I've done a longer, extensive uh, play session with this bad boy in active and passive. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, you can probably search the video in the description uh, for the other videos if you want to check those out. Get a little bit more play time, you know what I'm saying? Till then, I've been Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Key. Y'all be easy. <laughs>